What's going on comrades? It's Drewski here at Yellow Buckets Productions and today we got a quick unboxing slash product review of the Xbox Design Lab custom made Xbox One controller. So got this in the mail today. We're going to crack her open, see how it's packaged and then I'll show you my custom design and we'll see how it works. So let's check it out. Alright, so this puppy just got delivered today. I'm going to crack it open. It's the Design Labs custom Xbox One con controller. There's like, they claim there's like millions of uh, combinations, so let's see how it is. And that was gonna be my first question. Is it gonna be in a box or is it just gonna be in this box kind of package? So let's take, put the cardboard bullfuck off to the side. This is a fucking pretty beautiful box. I have to say Xbox, you're doing fairly well on your design there so yeah pretty basic um, you designed it we built it and you get to choose your co front color your um, your buttons your d-pad your start select buttons and your uh, thumbsticks as well as the back of the controller so yeah it's wireless let's crack this open I think we gotta go Oh, we do have some tape right here. Stupid as shit. You gotta open it this way. Oh! And there we have Drewski's custom yellow buckets controller. I'll bring it in a little closer. And let me pop it out of the box and we can take a closer look at it. So kudos to Xbox for sending your man some batteries with the controller. And um, when you lift up the little casing for the controller that's where all your manuals and whatnot are at so for the color scheme I went with yellow on the front of the controller and black for the back and the top triggers and bumpers um, for the thumbstick and the d-pad I went with red because that's one of my favorite colors and the controller buttons and the start and select buttons are gonna be black with um, the gray symbols so there's a couple different choices but I just decided to go gray on black because I felt it just complemented the controller the best and then I also went for yellow buckets laser engraving so that's pretty cool you could have I think 13 12 or 13 characters so I think I maximized the space so that's pretty cool you put your name on there or your gamer tag if it fits that's a pretty cool thing there. I say it looks really, really nice. Um, I got yellow buckets engraved on there. It was an extra $10. Um, it's $79.99 to design this. And then, uh, like I said, $10 extra for the engraving. And then it was like 5 bucks tax. So this was $95 for me. But that's okay. I feel like it's worth it being able to choose from all the different colors and just getting a freshly custom made you know controller made to order I think that justifies the $95 price point with the engraving but overall I'm satisfied with what I got so far uh, the only thing left to do is to give it a try and then I'll let you know what my true verdict is once we give it the field test okay. All right, guys, so I got AVGN Adventures 2 Assimilation going, and we're going to give this uh, controller a test and let you know how it feels. So let's do this. Um, this one. Right off the bat, the controller has a really nice texture to it, uh, a little more grittier than your normal uh, Xbox One controller, but let's try Hangdong 97. Just, you know, good minute and just see how, see how it feels. Okay. We're not going to really go for how well I do. It's just I'm just trying to see how well the controller itself feels for what I'm trying to do in the game. And right now I'm doing horribly, but the controller feels crispy. All the buttons are nice and bouncy. As in, you know, it, it feels nice and fresh. With room to work in. Oh. Whoa. Okay. So yeah, the joysticks are nice and responsive. 
Like I said, the buttons are working great. Um, mashing it there, you know, feels right. Uh, really impressed, so I don't think there's much more to say than if you got the extra money and you've always wanted to make your own custom controller, I'd say go for it. It's probably be only like $85 if you skip this engraving. So, yeah. If I had to give it a toasty rating, I'd give this a, a 5 out of 5 to -to -to toasties. But, um, yeah. Recommend it all day by Drewski. I really like it. I'm glad I got it. Like I said, $95 for an engraved. $85 probably for an unengraved. But, yeah. Go to xbox.com or microsoft.com slash xbox, whatever it is. Check out Xbox Design Labs. I'll have a link down there so you guys can check it out. But until next time, this has just been another product review and unbox with Drewski. Have a good day, comrades.